Around 12% of our planet's surface is covered with tropical rainforests and jungles. Rainforests such as the Amazon are unique geographical features with their own distinctive ecosystems and unfathomable characteristics. Over the years, some incredible and mind-boggling plants, animals and landmarks have been discovered in jungles around the globe. In today's video, we'll tell you all about 20 of the most creepy things found in the jungle. So make sure to watch till the end and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Mind Control Fungus This strange species of fungus called the zombie fungus is native to the tropical rainforest. It's quite a manipulative creature as it lures in insects by mind control. The spores of this parasitic fungus enter the body of a carpenter ant, gains control of its mind and puppeteers it. These spores force the poor insect to latch onto any location it wants. Fungi are vital to any ecosystem as they control the host populations. The spores of this zombie fungus attach and penetrate the insect's exoskeleton. The infection advances and the ant becomes completely zombified. It's forced to leave its nest for a more humid microclimate ideal for the fungus to grow. After settling in the new habitat, the fungus eats the host from inside out. Forest Breathing This footage is from a forest in Quebec, Canada. People were shocked when they stumbled upon what seemed like a forest floor that was actually breathing. The violent and fast winds tend to whip up the trees, causing them to bend. They seem like they would snap at any moment. It happens when rains and windstorms saturate the ground. This causes the soil to loosen up and the blowing wind, trying to push the trees over, also exerts pressure on the roots, due to which the ground begins to rise and fall. A classical example of a clash between the elements. Boiling River Believe it or not, there is a real boiling river deep inside the jungle of the Peruvian Amazon. This one-of-a-kind water body is called La Bomba, that means boiling with the heat of the sun. The water temperature in La Bomba can reach up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit and the water is almost always steaming. Locals believe the river is sacred and its hot water has healing and spiritual powers. The water is incredibly hot and if you fall in accidentally, you'll probably suffer from third-degree burns. Abandoned Fairy Tale House this real-life shoe house looks straight out of a fairy tale, but nowadays it lies completely forgotten and abandoned. Overgrown plants and weeds surround it, and it's ruined beyond repair. The stone-like shale of the boot, however, is perfectly preserved. According to locals, the boot house was built as an amusement park-like attraction, but unfortunately it was never completed, and an elderly lady moved into the house to spend her last days there. After she passed away, the new owner turned it into a playhouse for the family. Lost City of Giants This ancient complex of pyramids and other structures was found by a research team. It's located in a remote region of the Ecuadorian Amazonian rainforest. They believe it is the remnant of an ancient city that was built and inhabited by giants. Locals believe that a city of giants exists here, but until now, no one had tried finding this lost city. Legend has it that several such cities existed in the past and were abandoned by the giants. Over time, nature reclaimed these towns and they got lost in the forest. The largest pyramid in the city has been built using hundreds of large rocks arranged to form a slope that definitely didn't look like a natural feature. Goliath Tarantula The Goliath bird eater is considered the world's largest spider. It's mostly found in the rainforest of southern America. This arachnid lives in burrows beneath rocks and roots. The Goliath bird eater is an ambush predator with a leg span that can reach up to a foot. The body of this creates almost the size of a large fist. The hard claws and tips of its feet produce a clicking sound as it moves around. The hair and barbs this spider sprays can cause extreme pain and itchiness if they come in contact with your eyes or mucous membranes. Biggest Flower in the World This huge red flower is called Rathlesia, but many call it the corpse flower due to its rotten meat-like stench. It is the largest known flower in the world. There are 20 species of this flower, mostly found in Malaysia and Indonesia. The flower belongs to a strange underground parasitic plant, and this flower is the only part visible of the plant. The massive flower looks like a lumpy cabbage. The flower looks breathtaking when it blooms and can grow up to three feet. El Mirador, Guatemala This large pre-Columbian Mayan settlement discovered in Guatemala is also called the Lookout or Viewpoint. Scientists have failed to find any reliable natural resources or an actual water source. Due to this, they are confused as to how the civilization here survived back in the day. During its peak time, the El Mirador civilization spread over an area of 10 miles and is also the oldest known Mayan pyramid. Cucana Tricoloma 
These cup-shaped fungi are usually native to the Amazonian rainforest of southeast Ecuador. Their crouton body can measure up to an inch across. The younger fungi are bright orange, but they become paler with age. The prominent stiff white hair present around the rim of the cup forms a distinctive fringe. When water accumulates in the cup, the fungus absorbs it and develops internal pressure that leads to the thin wall tissue rupturing and the spores are released. For two, this strange-looking creature is called the ghost bird of South America. The angry and devastating sound it makes during the night resembles that of a mournful ghost. The Patu's unique call is considered the mournful lament of a spirit in love with the distant spirit of the moon by the locals. Its huge mouth allows it to swallow its prey whole. It has big eyes and mostly pretends to be a broken tree branch during the day. Sondung Cave Sondung is one of the largest caves in the world. Recently, an underwater tunnel was also discovered here which connects it to another cave. There is almost 1.35 billion cubic feet of space inside it, which is enough to fit an entire Boeing 747 in the largest passage of Sondung. In fact, a New York City block with all its buildings and skyscrapers can fit inside it. The cave was first discovered by a local man who was taking shelter from a storm back in 1990, but afterwards it lay forgotten for 19 years until he found the entrance again and led researchers to it. Archaeologists believe the cave was formed around 450 million years ago. Satanic Leaf The satanic leaf-tailed gecko is actually just a tiny gecko species native to the island of Madagascar. The species occurs in numerous different colors including purple, orange, yellow, and tan, but it's mostly mottled brown having small black dots on the underside. There are long spines covering its head, body, and trunk, whereas the flattened tail looks like a leaf. These physical features help the gecko blend in with its surroundings during the day in order to avoid predators, whereas at night, these help the gecko hunt for prey. Matamata Matamata turtles are mostly found in the river basins in southern America from Bolivia to Brazil, but they're primarily native to the Amazon and Orinoco. It's one of the largest freshwater turtle species. These strange-looking, well-camouflaged turtles have large, flat heads and necks that are covered with warts and ridges. Their mouths are wide and have long snouts. They look like pieces of wood and fool their prey by blending in with the surrounding vegetation. They don't have to go hunting as unsuspecting fish swim up to them. These fish are then sucked into the turtle's mouth. Glowing Mushrooms The locals use these glowing mushrooms as natural torches. A bunch of scientists discovered these while exploring a fungal foray in India. They discovered a staggering variety of fungus species in the region. Some of these fungi are new to science. They'd heard reports of electric mushrooms and were guided to these by some locals. When they switched off their torches, they were amazed to see a greenish glow being emitted by spots on the dead bamboo sticks that were covered with tiny mushrooms. Glass Frog This new species of frog was discovered in the Ecuadorian rainforest by a researcher who stumbled upon the frog sitting on a leaf over a stream. Glass frogs have translucent skin that allows us to witness the inner organs and workings of the amphibian. This is a type of camouflage and predators see straight through the frogs as if they're not there. The glass frog is a nocturnal species and spends most of the day hiding under leaves and branches. It hunts and mates at night. Ancient UFO This bizarre and extraterrestrial-looking object was discovered deep in the Amazon rainforest. People online are speculating that it could be a spaceship hiding in plain sight. The UFO appears hidden within the trees, but satellite imagery was able to spot it. It seems to be quite large and isn't blending in well with the surroundings. It was found in the Brazilian state of Rondonia. Strangely, there's nothing else remarkable in the area, and the massive cigarette-like lines stand out amongst the trees. Lost City of Monkey God an expedition of archaeologists has just confirmed that they've discovered the lost city that belonged to the strange and virtually unknown civilization. They found it in Honduras. According to experts, the mysterious civilization suddenly vanished almost a thousand years ago. Archaeologists still haven't given this discovery a name. Some people, however, call it the lost city of the monkey god. Local legend and indigenous tales have mentioned this city for hundreds of years. The local indigenous people believe there's a giant statue of a monkey god buried in the city. Real-life Tarzan This man was a real-life Tarzan who lived in the forest of Vietnam. Unfortunately, he passed away due to liver cancer at the age of 52. 
He returned to the civilized world almost eight years prior to his death. He actually survived on his own in the jungle for 41 years. He ended up living in the forests because his father had fled into the wilderness back in 1972 after bombing during the war killed half his family. They survived in the forest by foraging fruit and cassava and growing corn. They used to wear loincloths made of tree bark and lived in a timber hut. Congo Carbon Bomb Underneath the rainforest of Congo lies 30 billion tons of carbon. It's present in the swampy peatlands beneath the trees. Amongst the layers of interspersed layers of clay and silt, there are bits of plant material mashed against each other. All of these are in various stages of decay. These peatlands are roughly the size of England. Researchers have found the largest known complex of peat in the tropics here. With this, they also found that it contains more than 30 billion metric tons of carbon that has accumulated for more than 10,600 years. The flooded forest has stopped the carbon-releasing process of decay and has created an environment that relies on a steady and well-timed water source. Before moving on to number one, take a look at this. We've all done the sunlight and magnifying glass experiment as kids. The light can cause fire when it passes through a lens as it focuses the light energy to a small point. From this photo, it seems like someone created a huge magnifying glass and focused the light beam in the rainforest. The beam has definitely caused a fire. Maybe someone is trying to slash and burn the forest to create a clearing for agricultural purposes using a massive magnifying glass. What do you think? Tell us in the comments below. Sigiria Deep in the forests of Sri Lanka, there is a massive rock formation reaching 660 feet in height. The strange rock features various frescoes, mysterious graffiti, and several stunning landscaped gardens. This rock was established as the stronghold of a king almost 1,500 years ago. He chose to make Sigiria his base as he believed it would provide him a strategic advantage in case of an attack. The Sigiria complex soon became a bustling town with an enormous lion greeting visitors halfway up the rock. Towards the northeast of Sigiria Rock is a famous hill of Pirurangala rising about one mile from the site. Pirurangala Rock Cave Temple is also a part of many Sri Lanka tours that include Sigiria and Dambula Caves. Hiking to the top is possible for both of these rocks, but hiking at dawn to the top of the Pidorongala Rock is a real adventure. First of all, you get an incredible view of Lion's Rock itself, which is really special. Experience the sunrise from the top of Pidorongala Rock, where the first rays of light hit the surrounding landscape and the morning mist clears from the surrounding jungles. It's a magical spot and a moment that's not to be missed in Sri Lanka. Those were some of the most mind-blowing discoveries from the jungle. Tell us in the comments which one intrigued you the most and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you all next time.